Hey Jumbo, how is it going? Today we have a squad game here and this will be versus the uh, Yupsit guys and they are very very strong, I tell you. Look how many coaches they started with. So, uh, our squad here is uh, on a weaker side, uh, they run fun builds and uh, uh, at the same time I was about to grab this beacon and my wife wanted to talk to me and I realized that I have taken a lot of damage <laughs> at the same time. I cannot heal because of the new stupid weapon Pixonic brought. So I took my time here, but for some reason this guy just came for me and there were a lot of them shooting at me. So there was no chance for me to survive this one. <laughs> we are losing home, I can see there and I cannot push for this one because the enemy is too powerful on this side. So. I just die and I wanted to die in style. I slow motion that part because I really like about war robots on how you lose your bot. It's very, very interesting. Not many people are talking about it because it's not good to lose your bot, but it's very nice graphics and the way the bot dies, very, very nice. So. At this time we have two beacons and this is going to be really really hard game considering that uh, most of our teammates are running fun builds instead of full meta builds but we are going to show these guys what is um, skills in a squad game <laughs> I just love the UN guys <laughs> They show as if we are stupid. <laughs> and then later on, they show how experienced we are. So, I thought I come on this side so that I can get least amount of enemies to fight with. But to my surprise, <laughs> when I came this side as well, there were two, three of them. And I was like, man, those are my two beloved coaches i'm just trying to push so that we can have at least two beacons and uh, here i'm doing another me a mistake of underestimating uh these new weapons and who k uh, he's got it and this is how this one went <laughs> so those are three bots which i lost suddenly out of nowhere so what i realized is we need to slow this game down and to slow this game down is to lift some of them once you lift them they cannot move anywhere they cannot push and once we do that hopefully my team can push for the other beacons i'm not going to sit around with my newton here and just wait for my teammates to go and grab beacons i'm going myself <laughs> Uh, Mr. B is getting this beacon, which is amazing. So I said, I'm going to stay here uh, with Mr. B so that once he sees me, I'm here, he can push for another beacon. We have two beacons. Look at our beacon bar. There is absolutely no way of um, us to survive apart from making a really hard push. So. I was trying to hide for a little while there, uh, but I realized that I have to be on this beacon so that I protect it. So Marek came uh, to help me out, which is amazing because <laughs> I would not survive if the two enemies were there. So I'm going to lose my Newton Titan here, but we cannot camp. It's absolutely not allowed to camp. <laughs> we must stay on the beacon, make sure they're blue, otherwise it's going to be a lost game. So I lost my Newton as well in doing so. So I lost three robots already and I lost my Titan. And now I am with my Onfium bot and I was just about to kill this guy and uh, uh, I couldn't. So now 
my shield breaker uh, active module is not working because it is on cooldown and I couldn't help those guys but then I said let me come and help these guys but suddenly out of nowhere I lost a good amount of uh, um, uh, health and I, I was like holy moly I'm losing a lot of bots and I have to do a push so that we can keep these weekends and at the same time <laughs> not lose too many bots but unfortunately at this time I am on my last bot and I was thinking that in a squad game the Dagoon man is the least performing bot that's why many players you don't see them running Dagoon in squad games it's a fun build you can do a lot with it but it's not for uh, it is not for squad games so I'm helping Marek to get rid of this guy but he went in a face ship I don't want him to go to his ne next flight so we traded a lot of uh, beacons up and down up and down but we are in desperate need of getting beacons and uh, uh, I decided that I'm going to sacrifice my last bot <coughs> sorry <laughs> my last bot to make sure that we have at least five beacons at this time so that was my last one very very poor performance on my side but due to the needs of the game the beacons look at the beacon bar i did what i had to do to win this game <laughs> so this is how this one went if you enjoy content like this you know what to do thank you very much good games everyone bye bye